Tonight, people in Metro Detroit are stepping up to help Puerto Rico cope with the ruins of Hurricane Fiona. The island is once again in dire need after a brutal storm. Fiona killed at least one person in Puerto Rico. More than a million people, though, are still without power more than 48 hours after landfall. And nearly three feet of rain in some areas is triggering rock and mudslides. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian joins us now with the relief efforts underway in Metro Detroit. More than a quarter of the staff here at the Hispanic Development Corporation is Puerto Rican, and a lot of them still have strong connections to the island. They are determined to help those impacted rebuild. Stunning devastation in Puerto Rico after unprecedented rainfall and wind ravaged the island. The wind is just like you hear Mother Nature talks. You can feel the anger. Miguel Mendez grew up in Puerto Rico. As a child, he lived through two major hurricanes. Even though he's living in Detroit now, his heart bleeds for family and friends still on the island. Many of them he has yet to hear from. We're hoping that we can we can hear from my aunt by the end of this weekend or something. We can get in contact. I mean, it just like it just it's like everything else. The whole island don't have power. In 2017, Puerto Rico was nailed by Hurricane Maria. Much of the infrastructure was still being rebuilt when Fiona hit. Aside from the damage, it's reported that at least one person was killed by floodwaters. These are our brothers and sisters. Um, these are their children, their grandparents, our grandparents in need. And we need to help them just like we would help each other. Anita Zavala oversees events at the Detroit Hispanic Development Corporation. She says the organization is planning a fundraiser and will ultimately send all donations to a local charity on the island. I just spoke with Chase Bank and they're going to help us um, and donate some money to help put on the event. So we're really just trying to get the community together. Puerto Rico native and shortstop for the Detroit Tigers, Javier Baez is also trying to do his part. In an Instagram post, he said he's offering free meals to anyone on the island impacted by the hurricane. He owns a restaurant there called Taquisa Kitchen Bar and Terrace. It's Puerto Ricans all, all nationwide. And, and around this time, we all get together and we all help the island because that's our motherland, regardless of whatever we have. The fundraiser to help the people of Puerto Rico is taking place here at the Hispanic Development Corporation on October 7th at 6 p.m. There will be Puerto Rican vendors, food and music. So if you do want to help, you can come out here on October 27th. In Southwest Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News.